All right, what is going on guys? I worked on the car a little bit yesterday. Sometimes I like to work on my car without filming a video because I just feel like I can focus more and get more done. Um, so I'll tell you what I did and then I'll tell you what I'm gonna do today. So I started with routing all of my coolant lines to the expansion tank. We got it in this heat shielding sleeve because it does run by the headers. Uh, so I finished that up. Um, I got some of this cheap loom just to throw this little uh, cam sensor harness in and then I added water to the cooling system and sure enough a couple of my fittings on my steam port block were loose so it started leaking water and what I'm talking about is the block that sits underneath the intake manifold so I had to pull the manifold back off and it was a huge pain in the ass but it's all good now it's all tight and basically um, if my tracking number's right, my map sensor and filter for the intake, which I know that everybody's been hitting me up, telling me how I should do this, I believe I found a solution and it should be here today. And then you guys know that I'm switching to the 350Z diff. I'm waiting on the Maverick Motorsports bushing kit, but I'm actually going to pick up a Z diff and some spare Z axles right this moment with Raven and it should be a good day. Uh, me and Raven had to make quick pit stop. Harbor Freight is having I'm looking at the keep on some line. crazy sales. Then we gotta go to a, then we gotta go to rural king. Rural king. Rural king. Rural king. <laughs> I finally pulled the trigger and got a toolbox. It's been much needed in the shop. Tree tail sale. And uh, it's not the most expensive or baller toolbox, but what it does is it's a box that holds tools and uh <laughs> It'll be fine. It's just gonna sit inside my trailer for all year. Lucky for my situation, there's an LKQ really close to my house, and they happen to have the parts I need. So I'm gonna run in here and pick up my 350Z diff and my spare 350Z axles. Picked up a toolbox, a 350Z diff, and two 350Z axles for 250 bucks. Not a bad deal. Made it back to the shop and got a package from Amazon and it is this filter that uh, I did some Yo! What up dude? What are you doing? Filming? Oh. Don't put this in a video. Dude, why not? Cuz man, I don't want the clouds, dude. <laughs> I bet I bet there's people on here that are excited to see you. No, there isn't. Dude, I miss you. <laughs> Oh, hold on, pause. Let me fin let me finish talking about something real fast. Hold on. Don't hang up. All right, so I got this filter. Uh, I basically measured and went on K&N's website. Well, I went on Amazon, looked at all the K&N filters, and uh, found one that fit perfect. And because there's not an intake tube, there's nowhere to put my intake air temp. So what we're going to do is drill the bottom side of the manifold cover and just put the air intake air temp in there. Shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, I picked up a toolbox. Some other shit I needed. I needed a rubber mallet, some new dikes, some microfiber towels, and then I got my map sensor. But a couple problems. One, it doesn't fit very tight in the manifold like I thought it would, and like they they say it will. And the plug that I have on my Holly harness doesn't work with this sensor, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I've just been building my uh, new super affordable toolbox on the floor while I talk to Matt and uh, yeah we're gonna get this thing together I got the bottom cart put together now it just needs the the legs for the actual box to sit on and then I can rearrange this whole area over here and it's gonna look so much better even though I really like my tool bench with tires and plastic shelving but uh, this is going to make my life a lot easier and more organized Finally have a toolbox. So let me tell you what I think I'm gonna do. Um, <clears throat> so right now I just stacked up some tires and I had like these plastic shelves and I just set everything on, it's a mess right now. But uh, I usually keep it really clean, really organized, but the last few days have been pretty hectic. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the toolbox and I'm gonna put the toolbox here 
and then I'm gonna scoot this in a little bit so it almost meets the box. And then I'm going to move this completely and then still have this table, which is nice because uh, when things are going down, I can actually work on stuff and have a little bench. Um, and this thing, I'll try and keep this area here pretty clean. That way I can lay things out as I use them. But uh, for basically I went, I went and I like signed up for a, a membership at Harbor Freight and you get like the orange label stuff. I don't really know uh, how it works. But I got this box and like a bunch of other shit that I needed for 200 bucks. Like, it's not a bad deal. So just take a look at it right now. Let me back up. Just take a look at what it looks like right now and then... And we're done. I think it looks a lot better in here. This is all the stuff I have to go to take to the dump. But uh, yeah, I think it looks a lot better in here. This box is pretty much already maxed out and I don't even have that many tools. Um, I'm going to show you guys just kind of how I have it laid out. Uh, down here, cleaning supplies, some acetone, purple power, some voodoo ride stuff. Um, charger for the impact gun, impact ratchet, some tapes, screwdrivers all right there. Zip ties. This is kind of miscellaneous stuff. Uh, this is the cable to plug my uh, ECU into the computer. Some Y-Swap Ackerman spacers, tire pressure gauge, Hoonigan one, this thing is sick. Uh, spark plug gapper. Down here, different ratchets, sockets, the big daddy for the uh, 240 axles. Wrenches. And then in my box, I've like just accumulated a bunch of random like size sockets for like odd jobs. Oh, this isn't it. See, I don't even know yet. Pliers, dikes, wire strippers. And then this drawer is just random shit that was in my box that I know I use. And uh, especially like uh, lug keys, a bunch of those, file, some random Allen wrenches. So I use all that. And then the grinder and stuff will go down there. And then this is just my little shelf where I keep supplies for wiring, random nuts and bolts. These are all uh, small AN or brake fittings. Uh, this is all AN fittings. More AN stuff. More AN stuff. Yep, more AN stuff. Some tappers. Some wiring stuff. Some rivets. Um, some fuses, little tiny wire and stuff, which I don't really use this a lot. As you can see, I've never really touched small gauge wire like that. Uh, when I'm working on a job and I like pull some nuts and bolts off, I like to keep everything organized. So I'll put it in here and put different masking tape on. So when I just had the water pump off and all the accessories, it was all labeled power steering pump, uh, alternator bracket, water pump, some wiring, hose clamps. And then down here, different fluids. Uh, some gear oil, PV blaster, brake fluid, water wetter, uh, different springs for my coils, an RG wheel, and then down here, some other random parts that I don't really use, and some spray paint. Fun fact, these cans right here have my color of paint in them, just in case I crash and I need to touch something up. So, this side of the shop is done, um, the back part... That we kind of like have it set up in like different, like this is my side of the shop. Orion's in the middle, Chow's way over there. And uh, this back area that's mine is kind of messy because all of my arrows everywhere, tires, those are all mounted, those are all wheels. So I have to go pull all those shitty tires off. Um, these are all spare parts, steering rack, front subframe, random shit in there. It's all spare stuff, spare stuff. This makes me happy because I really like, I, I hate working in like a cluttered area. If I can't find a wrench or something, it like, it like unmotivates me. I know it sounds kind of stupid, but it really does. So to have a nice clean area like this makes me really happy. And uh, this toolbox isn't the most expensive. It's not the nicest, but it'll keep me organized and that's what matters. And you know, one day maybe you'll have a big fucking snap on box. That would be sweet, but until then, 
um, I'll max this thing out and then upgrade from there. But for now, it works. This is the diff that I picked up. It's a 350Z manual. Um, I'm kind of new to the uh, 350Z diff world, but it should do the job. I'm trying to figure out um, what needs to be changed. I think the, the rear uh, flange where the drive shaft attaches is the same as a S14. Got to use the Maverick Motorsports uh, adapter kit and figure out if this thing is weldable, which it should be. I mean, it's a it's an LSD, but I was looking for an open diff, and I know you can get them out of a 350Z, but I wasn't sure which diff to go with. But if you look here, they're turning together. So I'm going to open this thing up and call a friend in and see if he can help me out. Raven just came out here and gave me a grocery list and look at it. Hopefully, the guy told me this was empty and I'm just gonna trust him without even looking. And he wasn't lying. Good guy. All right, so now that we got this thing open, let's get it in the light and take a look. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm looking at you. Yeah, but what are you doing? Uh, I'm researching some shit right now. I just got home from uh, St. Louis. That's sick, dude. Uh. I guess I, I guess I could, dude, I guess I could plug your giveaway. Okay, so Chelsea Denofa is giving away a sick E36. Go buy a Stancer Dancer shirt. Link in the description and win his motherfucking car. But for now, he's going to help me, so bye. Hold on, I get it opened up for you. Dude, enough of the giveaway, Chelsea. I need your help. Dude, that's the car. That's the car in the front. Take a chance. Dude, just take a fucking chance. It'll be all right. So after some professional guidance, I have decided to take this diff back to LKQ and have them source me an open 350Z diff. They didn't have any there, but they said they could find me one. So I'm just gonna button it back up, take it back tomorrow. Yeah, we're still waiting on parts, waiting on body kit, waiting on, um, oh my God, I can't wait for my body kit. Shout out to freaking Paco. I love the 2F kit so much and I'm so excited to have one again. I miss the one on my S13, and I wanted to have one on this car, but at the time I couldn't afford it, so now we can, and now we're going to get it, and oh, there's something on the lens, yeah, oh no, I'm really stoked about that, and Paco's been killing it on his own personal YouTube channel, um, they're doing a bunch of weird shit over there, and uh, that's kind of his thing, weird cars, weird guy, it's all good, go check out his channel, um, I think it's just called Tofu Drift Van. Tofu Drift Van. If, if I'm wrong, I'll just put it in the description and then you guys can click on it and go check it out. He's helped me out a lot this year and I can't tell him how thankful I am. So you guys should go and check out his channel. That's the only way I can really show my appreciation is to spread the good word of other creators on YouTube. Um, but once this rear ends together and the rest of the parts show up, we can go to the dyno without the body kit, without the new livery and without the new paint. Get this thing running tip top and tested before we do all that stuff and uh, ready to jump into the new year. But for now, Raven's making steaks inside. I'm going to go eat dinner. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.